Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Vijayta Vardhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of plane surfaces. And an example problem is like this. A hexagonal lamina of 30 mm sides rests on HP with one of its corners touching VP and surface is inclined at 45 degree to it. One of its edges is inclined to HP at 30 degree. Draw the top and front views of the lamina in its final position. So now to solve this problem, uh, according to the given condition, uh, hexagonal lamina of sides 30 mm is supposed to be constructed in HP and one of its corners touching VP. So according to the given question, so we shall show you how to solve the problem. So good applications, macros, run macro and the macros are available in this path of the program file solid edge v19 custom inside polygon and bin and in the bin you have to select inside polygon click on open select the flat length and the side length of the hexagon is given as 30 so set it for 30 number of sides are available 6 and just click on the apply relationship just press the left click of the mouse anywhere on the sheet so that the hexagon is going to be appear now hexagon is supposed to be uh, rotated for a corner resting according to the given question so go for rotate command rotate in such a way that uh, one of these inclined lines become a horizontal lines like this and it becomes a corner resting and then go to move command uh, move in such a way that uh, this end point should be on the XY line so that it is going to be the corner resting properly uh, and then uh, one of its edges uh, the lamina is on HP as well as one of its corners touches VP so the condition will be satisfied so make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 draw the respective projector still the XY line to draw the top view and after which uh, make use of uh, <coughs> the smart dimensions or uh, distance between command show that the size of the pentagon is sorry size of the hexagon is 30 millimeter then make use of uh, text command and name the respective corners this as a dash this as uh, b dash and this will be c dash and this is going to be d dash and accordingly this is going to be e dash as well as f dash then in the top view this will be a then b as well as f <coughs> then c and e and then we have corner d then uh, make use of a line command with a uh, thickness of 0 0.5 connect this line as a split lines that is a to b once then b to c once and c to d once so that it will become easier to draw the projectors in the next stages then according to the given question uh, one of its corners touching vp and it is inclined at 45 degree to VP. Now the front view, sorry, the top view has to be inclined at 45 degree to VP. So for which one has to select the top view, then make use of a move command. Uh, so make sure that move copy is on because earlier we have switched it off. And AB is going to be repositioned on this line. Then make use of a rotate command. And using the rotate command, select A as fixed and D as going to be the rotated and it is inclined at 45 degree so the rotation angle is supposed to be given as 45 degree then make use of a line command with respect to 0 0.13 one can complete the required front view so for which one has to draw the projectors so let us uh, draw the projectors from all the respective corners then select here the end point c and e so c is going to be connected to here to here then uh, b is also going to be connected to this point so this is supposed to be a vertical line so we'll make this angle as 90 degree so now uh, we have projected all the respective corners so mark this corner as a dash and here it will be marked as b dash 
then this is going to be c dash then this is going to be the d dash then this is going to be e dash and this is going to be f dash once this marking is done make use of a line command with thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter join the line a a b c d e f as a dark lines here it is supposed to be an intersection symbol and again an intersection symbol and get back to the a dash so now one can see that it is completed in all aspects and after completing these things after completing these things now a uh, one of which edges is inclined to hp at 30 degree so we can take any of the edges but make sure that when we are going to rotate this uh, lamina uh, so either f dash or e dash is supposed to be on the xy line because it is resting on hp now let us select the line af is going to be the rotating uh, and because of that uh, so we have to measure the length of ab the length of the ab here it will be 30 mm and here it will be an apparent length so go for the smart dimension and you can show that this dimension is 30 mm and after which uh, which is not necessary here and here the af is supposed to be a 28.06 now how to complete the problem so go to a line command with thickness of 0 0.13 so one can construct an inclined line here whose inclination is supposed to be 30 degree and after drawing this 30 degree because the 30 degree to hp is given and after which uh, this point is going to be marked as f now the true length of af has to be marked here let us go to arc by center point command the true length of the af is 30 millimeter so with respect to this point so one has to construct a 30 millimeter arc and then there we have to draw a locus and after drawing a locus again go to arc by center point command then select this f dash as the reference point then the radius must be taken as 28.06 millimeter and then one has to draw one more arc then the new point of a dash is available here f dash is available here now one has to select the front view go to move command move with respect to a dash and a dash has to be positioned on the apparent arc what we have drawn and then make use of rotate command rotate in such a way that a dash is supposed to be there and b dash is sorry f dash is on the x y line over here with respect to the end point symbol so one can say that the required inclination is completed <coughs> then delete the line whichever extra is there then make use of angle between command then show that the apparent angle is 32 degree and here the true angle is not measured so we will measure the true angle and the true angle is measuring as 45 degree then make use of a line command with respect to the thickness of 0 0.13 where well, with the right extreme corner will start it that is uh, e now e is going to be connected to e along with e we have c so let us connect uh, e and c properly and then uh, the next extreme corner is d and we shall connect D to D and after connecting D to D then we have the F is on the XY line then B and A B, A and F is remaining so B is going to be over here okay uh, F is not on the XY line F is below the XY line so we'll project F as well as B <coughs> then A is on the X Y line and then uh, make use of the uh, line command with 0.5 mm thick so before that one has to mark the corners uh, and this corner is going to be A, this corner is going to be B and this is going to be, sorry, this is going to be 
B and this is going to be C D and this is E and here it is going to be F so let me delete the B there then uh, make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter join A to B B to C C to D D to E E to F F to E and this completes the construction of the given problem so this is the required solution for, as per the given conditions and if you have any doubts please feel free to contact me and also please do subscribe to my youtube channel and please make sure that this video will be shared to all the first year engineering students and once again thanks for watching my video